I'm here in my in my kitchen. My wife is watching. What what show are you watching, baby? Southern Charm. Southern Charm. And I want to show you the 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 set that I got, uh, the Koi set that I got, Koi watercolors. I know some people are like, man, like why don't you get like some big watercolors or or whatever. Well, there's a reason why. Now it's not my first rodeo. Okay. It's not my first rodeo. I get them all the time. Here they are. But these are worn out. Okay? So we're not even going to talk about the ones that are worn out. I'll talk to you about the new one I just got. So if you can see here, oh, if my nails were not so dirty, I promise it's paint. I promise. Pinky swear. <laughs> uh, 30 colors, right? Colors, colores. They even have it in Spanish. Why do they have it in Spanish? Were they, were they, were they hoping that... But this Mexican was gonna read this? Maybe, I don't know. But it's it's Koi watercolors. That's what it looks like. Boom, baby. Let's get it out. There it is. It comes with a little thing right here. I, I suppose, again, I apologize for my super dirty hands, but I suppose it's for doing something like this. Putting your finger in there so you can Hold on to it. And then, boom, baby. Look at that. Oh, mucho bueno. You open that up. It's got a little sponge right there, which I find very unuseful. I don't know what that thing is for. I suppose it's to, like, you know. But it comes with this brush, which I never use. I don't really care much for this brush. I think it's kind of useless. It's a nice brush, but I think it's kind of useless. I like to use... Uh, this brushes. These are the brushes that I like to use. Find this tip. Okay. I don't know what brand is it. Is it Royal? Royal something. Uh, but find this tip on the handle. And you'll get a good watercolor brush. Just saying. It's it very much works like a like a like a Japanese sumi brush. This is a Japanese sumi brush. You know, they're, they're, these are created to, to just about do their own thing, right? Um, you don't really have to try much with a Japanese sumi brush. I mean, you should know what you're doing, but you don't really have to try much. I have, I have this bigger one too. I like using Japanese sumi brushes, but not for watercolors. What I'm trying to say here is that uh, with Japanese sumi brushes, you don't really have to try that much because they are meant to be loose and free. Well, the brushes that I use for watercolors are very much the same way. They are meant to be used very loose and free. Look for this tip. Okay, on the handle. Again, I apologize. I promise. It's paint. I wasn't picking my nose. <laughs> or was I? So, ten, ten, ten. And uh, it comes with this. This little thing. This little koi set comes with this brush, but I... Don't care much about that. And again, it comes with this little handle right here, whatever that is. I think it's to put your finger there and, and I mean, I, here. I mean, I do like the worst reviews, but they're super fun, so stick around. Here, like that, look, see? And so you hold it, and I guess you're paint. You're holding with one hand and painting, which I think is really ridiculous. I want to put it on a table, and I do care about this thing right here. I'm not gonna lie, I do care about this thing, this little palette. Uh, I usually use a porcelain plate, especially in my studio, something large. But this is really nice. What is it good for? Uh, it's good for 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 you know small watercolors, especially. Uh, let me show you some of the small ones that I got. Especially the ones, that, this little, little ones that I carry around. These are like two by two inches. Sometimes I give them away as, as like, as like business cards to other people. Not to other artists, okay? I don't do the whole, give me a card, I'll give you a card. This is to, to, to prospects and collectors. People that are like, oh my God, I love what you're doing. You know, uh, this gives them a taste. It actually makes them feel like they're a collector now. So it's a very cool thing. I can do that with watercolors. Um, or you can sell them, you can sell them. You can sell them on Etsy or eBay or whatever for like 20 bucks. They are, they are well worth 20 bucks. 
uh, especially if you're if you're a pro, right? If you're an artist. Let's see. Ben Carly Art says, I hope I pronounced that correctly. What do you think about my recent Andy Warhol piece? I would like your critique of my new style. Art full time now for the last two months. Appreciate your grind. Oh, very cool. Thank you. I'll I'll get back on you with that. I'll go check out your. I'm sure it's really cool if you've been doing it for. If you've been doing full time with. Uh, um, being a full-time artist for two months uh, but yeah I'll definitely check it out absolutely I love I love checking out work and and I'm not I'm not a professional uh, critic I wouldn't ever want to be one because they say that nobody nobody wrecks statues for those guys but but I do love seeing work and, and I'll and I'll give you my my positive feedback on it How, how's that does that sound fair I'll do that so it comes with this thing, right? Again, I don't, I don't care much for that. But I do love the colors. I, this is what I want you to check. This thing, I mean, for like, how's it going, Chris? Oliver, this thing for, a, I don't know, it's like 40, 50 bucks tops. You get a super fancy palette. And I'm talking about fancy. Don't go for smaller ones with less colors. And don't go, you don't need to go for the larger ones with like so many colors, unless you want to. This size, man. This size is perfect. It's got it's got it's got all the colors that you would want to use if you were a, an acrylic painter or an oil painter. It's got everything. It's got magenta. It's got the the deep reds. It's got the oranges. It's got the yellows. The pale. The, it, some of them look like cads, baby. Like this one looks like a cad yellow medium or a pale pale cad yellow. You know. Some really cool ones. This one looks like a, this one looks like a French ultramarine, you know. And then this one looks like a phthalo blue. And this one definitely looks like a viridian, especially this one, or a phthalo or a phthalo green. I mean, they have everything, man. You know. And I, by the way, no one's paying me to say this, okay? I give two shits about the koi brand. I'm just telling you guys that that this is a really cool thing. That's all. Now, if you guys on Koi are listening, hey, hook me up, dudes. You know, send something my way. My way or the highway. Anyways, there it is, guys. Just wanted to show off my Koi set. I got to get back. I'm doing some watercolors right now. And, uh, yeah, it's like, it's going to be close to midnight. I don't know. What is it? Like 11 p.m.? I'm still working on watercolors. This is the thing about being a full-time artist, man. You bring, you bring your work home. If you want to, right? And I try to. I try not to, but sometimes I just can't avoid it, and I have to bring my work home. So, whatever, it's part of it. I won't complain because it's a hell of a nice life. So, there it is, guys. You guys want to see my beautiful face? Beautiful face, activate now. Beautiful face, bam. All right, guys. Peace. Uh, by the way, by the way, if you guys want to learn more about watercolor, oh man. I definitely need a haircut. If you guys want to learn more about watercolor? I'm, I'm in my I'm in my kitchen, and I want to tell you about something. I went to this winery the other day, and I got this lavender brandy. I don't drink much. I hardly ever drink, but baby, lavender brandy? Hell yeah! Let me see if I can do a. Can you guys see? Yeah, lavender brandy, baby. Pinky up. It's good stuff. Anyways, um. What was I saying? I was telling you guys something. Oh, yeah. If you guys want to find out more about watercolors and how I do watercolors and that, that type of deal, I'm preparing classes, watercolor classes for artists. Okay? Hey, how's it going? Shala, how's it going? And so, so if you want to find out more about those classes, DM me and I'll keep you posted. Um, if you want to do watercolors the way I do them, very loose, very... There's a little bit of abstraction, a little bit of reality in it. There's a little bit of play, and and they're definitely really cool. So, anyways, oh and yeah, dude, that 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 lavender brandy, hell yeah. And and, and I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a pusha. Is that how you say it in French? I'm not a drunk. I'm not a borracho. But but this stuff is good. Anyways.
it beats this crap. So anyways, guys, uh, <laughs> that's the funny shit, man. When I'm in my house, I, I talk about the weirdest stuff. So anyways, guys, if you guys want to find out more about watercolors and how I do them and you want to enroll in one of my classes, baby, all you got to do is just DM me. Be like, Jose Trujillo, that crazy Mexican dude. I want part of your class. And uh, you don't have to say crazy Mexican dude. Only I can say that shit. But you're like, hey, I want part of your class. I want to be in there. And, and I'll hook you up. All right? Peace. Take care. Take care, Mundo. All right? Adios.